Hi, I'm going to show you the new Concept plugin from Crotos. Concept is an intuitive and creative soft synth with a simplified workflow, powerful modulation, and exciting methods of achieving variation and even gelling productions together in new ways. All major controls are clearly on display for speed of work and uninterrupted flow. The plugin uses color coding and visualization wherever possible, particularly in the modulation system. Each modulator has its own color as well as the tweak it variation system, so you can quickly identify the relationship between modulator and destination. Concept uses two oscillators with switchable and blendable waveforms. For quick and musical FM processing, each oscillator has a dedicated internal FM oscillator and visualizer. We also have a classic ADSR envelope with visualizer, a ladder filter with high and low pass modes, and an effects rack with a choice of 10 different effects, including convolution reverb, where you can import your own impulse responses for more advanced and unusual results. The Tweakit customization system allows you to quickly transform presets from subtle to drastic amounts. To personalize or hone in on your own sound, even using Concept's huge collection of presets. Okay, let's take a look at a fresh patch and dive into some more advanced features. Let's explore the modulation system and put a basic patch together. Almost every parameter in Concept can be easily modulated, including all the effects and the modulators themselves. To modulate any parameter, click and drag any parameter label into the center section. Let's start by assigning the filter cutoff to the LFO in mod 1. We can adjust the modulation range by dragging on the handle on the outside of any modulating parameter. The modulation will center around the position of this parameter at all times. We can add as many parameters as we like to each modulator and set different amounts for each parameter. Now let's modulate the oscillator. We can switch the second waveform for this oscillator and adjust the blend between them. By assigning this to the second modulator, this modulation shows in green. By clicking on this modulator in the second section, we can adjust the behavior of the modulator itself, adjusting the frequency or depth of the LFO or switching to tempo sync. We can see the visualizer for this modulator update in real time and we can open and close the modulator by clicking on the miniaturized panel when open and the larger panel when closed. Modulation amounts for each parameter can be adjusted here, as well as muting or removing parameters. Modulators can easily be modulated by each other as well, by dragging them into each other and these complex movements are also shown in the visualizers. This can be used to create some really exciting and complex settings quickly and easily. The right click menu can also be used to assign to modulators as invert, mute or clear. Modulators can switch between modes using the drop-down. Here you can switch between the different types of modulator concept offers, including envelope, audio input, XY capture, and mod wheel. This can be used to build up your own set of modulators across the whole system. Now let's take a closer look at the Tweakit variation system. Let's develop this basic patch.
let's add a flanger and add some of the parameters to tweak it. Now let's click on the dice to tweak these parameters and hear the effect. You'll hear we've now adjusted only the parameters added to the tweak it area. The rest of the patch remains unchanged. By clicking outside the dice, we can see the setup inside. You'll see individual controls for each parameter we added and a master amount. Here we can allow more variation for some parameters and less for others. This is really useful for developing your own sound. Let's try this with some other parameters as well. Notice that Tweak It always works around the current value you've set for each parameter, never moving too far away from your settings unless you want it to. We can also tweak modulating parameters, and even modulators themselves using the whole system. The master amount can be used to reduce the impact of all the parameters currently in the tweak it, refining the variation and never letting it become too wild. Tweakit has already been set up on every factory preset, letting you personalize hundreds of presets straight away, including those from top artists. XY Capture can be a powerful way to give shape to your bases or pads. Intuitive movements can be captured, looped, and adjusted easily on the fly, never breaking your flow. With a pattern playing, capture a loop in free mode. Once captured, the direction, speed, and range can be adjusted to totally transform how this movement affects the rest of the patch. These movements can also be synced to tempo. Speed can be adjusted this way to always stay in sync by halving or doubling the duration of the captured movement, quickly transforming the feel of the patch. Any other parameters can also be added on the fly. Audio input can be a powerful and quick way to control your synth patches with other elements of your track. Let's give some life to this basic melody. It's easy to connect our beat here to concept using the first sidechain input. The beat is now being used to modulate any number of parameters in concept. If we mute these parameters one by one, we can really hear the effect in action. Audio input can also track pitch. Let's use a bass to modulate other aspects of the patch. Using Live's routing, let's connect this to a second sidechain and pick it up in concept in another audio input modulator and switch its pitch. We can now focus around the pitch of the incoming audio and use this to modulate some effects.
let's expand this even further. So you can see how you can build these advanced patches by linking to other elements of your track using Concept. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of Concept and it inspires some of your own patches. For more information or to download your fully functional demo, head to crotosaudio.com. Thanks for watching.